put your faith in Jesus now. Let His power reach down inside you. He can make you whole now. I feel the power of Almighty Father reaching down His head. Shout! If you gotta come to church, you might as well shout a little bit. Amen. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
God is good, isn't he? Yes. I don't care what the devil tries to do. God's going to make a blessing out of it. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? God will make this amen. trial a blessing. I love that old song. Let's look to him right now. Father, we are thankful to be in the house of God. How good it is and pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity. Oh God, we need you more every day that we live. Bless us tonight. Lift us up together and open our hearts and minds to thy truth. Amen. Teach us thy ways. Help us to come into thy presence, O oh God, and lay aside every way to the sin that so easily beset us, and to receive with gladness that engrafted word of God, which is able to save our soul. Amen. Bless the people everywhere. In your name, O oh Father, we thank you for it. Amen. In Jesus' name. All right. God bless. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to be together tonight? Oh, yeah, we got a few problems, but everything's going to be all right. Amen. Oh, yes, I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything's going to be all right.
in and going before I go in. Yes. <laughs> because uh, it's not easy sometimes going in there because the devil will put stuff in your mind. Sure. Very well. And uh, you job. have to fight him and, and uh, block him off. And, and, uh, this song helps a lot. Yes, thank you. Sure does. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. There ain't nothing that can't be done by me and God. Ain't nobody gonna come between me and God. Someday we'll live together where the angels trod me and God. Early in the morning talking it over me and God. Late at night talking it over me and God. You could say we're like two peas in a pot, me and God. He's my father, he's my friend. The beginning and the end. He rules the world with the staff and the rod. We're a team.
to be troubled. Amen. You know what? He, he said, uh, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. Not some shack somewhere. The roof leaks and all that. No, no. A mansion. And he said, if it were not so, I would have told you. Out of the lips of our Master. But he said, I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am, there you may be also. I don't know about you, but it's looking better every day. So walk the streets of gold and, and, and walk through them gates. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I, I'm going to do Mansion Over the Hilltop. Yeah. If you know it, just sing along with me, all right? Okay. <laughs> I'm satisfied with just a cottage below. gifts to give tonight yes. and I know it's needed in the body yeah. and so I just feel like I'm going to just sing a few uh, 
a few courses here tonight and just uh, just kind of wait upon the Lord for a little bit. Can we do that? Amen. And, and if you feel led to do something, well, you just obey the Lord and, and it'll be fine. Amen. Oh, the windows of heaven are open. God's blessings are falling tonight. And there's joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus made everything right. Was 
stormy and cold And there's Sandy Shepherd Mark County them all One sheep is missing There should be one more The shepherd went out To search for the sheep the message one time, something going on in the graveyard. <laughs> Hallelujah, I feel the Lord moving in this place. I hate to get in His way. You know, sometimes we can get in His way. Amen. And if God spoke to you and told you to do something, and you didn't do it, you should obey the Lord. He knows what He's doing, and He puts it on people's hearts, you know. Amen. He works through His body. The Lord uses His body. We're His hands, His feet, His eyes, and He works through the body. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you feel an unction of God, don't hold back. Let God have His way. Amen. The devil won't tell you to do good things. Did you know that? No, he's a liar. He'll never tell you to do a good thing. If somebody tells you to do a good thing, it's God telling you that. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Do you love Him tonight? I do praise Him. I love Him for the joy that's in my heart tonight. I, I just, uh, man, I'm feeling good tonight. My soul. It's just good to know the Lord. It's good to serve God. It's good to have peace in your life, isn't it? Yes, it is. In the world, He said, you have tribulation. But in me, He said, you have peace. I'm glad for that peace tonight. Amen. I feel that peace in my heart. Praise the Lord. He is so good. I could go on and on here tonight, but I'm not going to, to weary you if, you, if, it's, if it's already been done. That's, it's not a pretty place. 
in the valley of the shadow of death. It's not a pretty place. It's a beautiful poem, isn't it? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Let me tell you, it's not a pretty place. That valley of the shadow of death. And that we've all been touched by it this week. I was talking to Ronnie back back there a while ago for service. I said, every every family there has been touched yes. in one way or another. And uh, and still we got all the regular business we got to take care of. And all the things. <laughs> and uh, and but and uh, but I, you gotta you gotta reach for something. Yes. You can't you can't just sit and die. You gotta reach out for something. God is still the same. His word is still true. His promise is just as great as ever. It's just it's just trying time. You know it's it's a, there is a season for all these things. We we go through seasons, amen. And and it's it's trying time right now. And all kinds of good things are going on even in, in the midst of this trying. There's all kinds of people's hearts have been touched, people's lives. They've seen acts of kindness that they hadn't seen out of people in years and years. And uh, brother, it's then I wanted to say that brother Steve over here wants to start doing some visitation on Saturday morning. He come by and asked me if I if I cared if he did some visiting. Lord, the Lord, no, I don't care. So he's wanting to do some visiting, and anybody's interested in joining him, I'm Amen. I, I know, huh? Get with Brother Steve, and maybe you guys could meet here at the church or something. And uh, anybody that's interested, you could all meet here and kind of. He's done this kind of work before, and and uh, he's and it had been talked to me about some for some time. And uh, I said, no, I think that's fine. We we need it. And uh, several years ago, we we went to the uh, neighborhoods, and, and but it's been quite a long while. And it's and, and of course these a lot of these uh, apartments they have. A big turnover, you know, and it's time to reach out to people once again. Amen. It's a good thing to do. Yes, and take is. the gospel, especially in the time that you're really in trial. That's really the time to, to, to get to work. That's right. Amen. Into all the yeah, take care of God's business and He'll take care of your business. Yes, he will. Yeah, he, he will. will. He can make things easy uh, for you if you'll just get about His business. Yes, he Never wants us to get all bogged down, see, in, in all of our problems. And, and some of us got some doozies. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to make light of them. It is a struggle. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, we've, been, we've been through a lot of things in our in the, in the almost 50 years that I've been doing, going about this thing. I've been through a lot of trials, up a lot of hills and, and down. And some things we're facing that I never dreamed I'd ever have to face again. Lord, I've been thought, uh, David said I, he whipped that giant way back there. There he is again. Yep. And uh, so... Uh, but, but it's just trying time and those things come in, in seasons and it'll pass and God will be glorified yes. and somebody will be lifted up somebody's faith is going to be restored Amen. somebody's going to see a miracle Amen. just as sure as you're born right in the midst of all this somebody's going to see a miracle yes. Amen to God and God is going to have His way and I believe that's what we've got to look to and that's what we have to aspire to Absolutely. Brother Ronnie was talking about change. We're all in a in a in a process of change. Salvation is a process, not something you do or, or you did one time and so right. you're set for life. It, right. It's not that way. It's a process. Amen. We're in a process. And it has ups and downs and peaks and valleys and, and victories and defeats and, and all that we learn to maintain. We learn to keep control of our soul when we're up and when we're down and when we're when we're victorious and when we seemingly we're losing. We just, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And behold, He said, I change not. So His Word doesn't change. He's still the same. His promises are still the same. And we, somehow we got to learn to look above. Now, I don't say it doesn't touch us. It does. We wouldn't be human if it didn't. We, but we already know that He's our Savior. Uh, you know, we had to have a Savior. We couldn't save ourselves. We had to have a Savior. Thank God He appeared just in time. Amen. Just in time. But I used to sing a song. I was going down for the third time. And I knew there wouldn't be a trace left to me. But amen, you came just in time. Amen. I was going down for the third time. And I knew there wouldn't be a trace left to me. Oh, but I saw your loving hand. And amen, you restored me. And give me a new song to sing. I used to sing that song a lot. I sung it on Jim Gerard's TV show one time. 
Lord, you got me singing a happy song again. I hadn't even felt like singing since the Lord knows when. Took away my lonely days and made them all be gone. Oh, Lord, you gave me a happy song. I'm glad for a happy song. Even in the midst of trial, it's going on. It's singing down, in, down inside. And say, hold on. Don't give up. Look unto Jesus. Don't look at the bad part. Look at the good part. Amen. Look for the victory. Look for the joy. Look for the good thing. Because in the midst of all this, there's a good thing going on. We don't always see it for good, but God takes it and works it for our good. He'll take something bad and work it for our good. I don't know how he does it, even but he does it. He's done it for me over and over and over through the years. Amen. When I was against the wall and seemingly didn't know which way to turn, amen, he said, go this way. It was we small boys down inside said, this is the way. Walk ye in and hell of this way to go. I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go my way. Oh, does that sound familiar? Oh, I wanted to go the path I wanted to go. Oh, he said, Go this way. Go this way. See, that's what a leader does. A leader says, go this way. Amen. Do, you know what I mean? And no, no question about it. Don't even think about what you, what you feel about it. He said, go this way. Okay, Lord, I'm going, I'm going that way. And then look back later and say, God, he knew what he's doing. How many times have you done that in your experience? I didn't know what he was doing, but now I see what God was doing. Yes. He was working all the time. Amen. He was there in me. There all the time. I've been in the book of Psalms all week. I can't get out of the book of Psalms. That's good. Because I got to I gotta praise. I gotta find the praise. Yes. I gotta find something to praise him for. I know you can't the only way you can get out of something is to praise your way out of it. Yes. I, amen. I came with the devil. I didn't give up on that a long time ago. I came with the devil. But I got a savior and he sure can. Yes. Is that right? Amen. He's the one, amen. That's the one I want to look to. I want you to turn with me to 107th Psalm. I'm going to read just a little bit for you, and I'm going to keep you very long. But I love this. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, uh -huh. for His yeah. mercy endureth, endureth forever. forever. How do we know that? Because I've had to have it so many times. So many times. Oh, Lord. Will you sing that song? It's me again, Lord. Yeah. I got a prayer that needs an answer. Yeah. It's me again, Lord. I got a problem I can't solve. You know what? You know that's music to his ears. It is absolute music yeah. to his ears. For you to call upon him and say, Lord, I need help. I need you. Here I am, Lord. I can't do this for myself. He already knew that. He knew that. He knows you can't save yourself. Amen. He knows you're not a super Christian. And you're just a human being trying to make it. And you got your ups and downs. And, and But thank God that thing that's within you is able to take you all the way. Amen. And that's what He's wanting you to know. His mercy endureth forever. Oh, how many times I've had to seek His mercy. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I... I uh, I said to the Lord, I don't want I don't want justice. No, no, no I don't no, want no, no, no. No, I I'm, I'm not fit for that. I want mercy. Mercy, Lord. Yeah. Mercy, Lord, give me mercy. You heard me tell about when I gave my testimony one time. I turned my life around, changed my whole life. Amen. I've gave it here so many times. Some of you can repeat the testimony. <laughs> Amen. Because you've heard it so many times. But I mean, I was at the bottom. I was as low as a person can get. And I was off to myself and I was crying. The tears were coming down. And I was in a struggle. Had a bunch of little kids and didn't make very much money. Things were tough. I didn't see no way. I didn't see no way. And out of that, the Lord was speaking to me. Will a man rob God? And where any of you rob me, said the Lord. In tithes and offerings. I mean, he was killing me with the word. Lord, I, I can't do that. I, I, can't, I can't afford to do that. Well, I found out I can't afford not to. Right. Yeah, see, I really, I found out what it was all about. Amen. See, because he, he, uh, he, you know, he could bless me. Put myself in a position for right. the blessing. Oh, yeah. See, amen, because it's holy on the Lord. A tenth is holy on the Lord. Yes, it is. Amen, it's, it's holy. It may not mean, mean very much to you, but it means something to God because it's in His plan, see. Amen. And I, and I wasn't making very, just very much money. I mean, I was, you know, I was like clearing like $39 a week. And the average back in those days was about 75 or 80, so you can see about where I was at. And I didn't see how I was going to squeeze out $3.90 a 
uh, for tithes. For tithes, oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. But I begin to trust the Lord. I begin to take Him in His Word. I begin to believe His Word. I begin to, uh, to put it into practice, not just... I quit fighting. I surrender. That's why I give up, Lord. I, I surrender. You got me. Give up. Says what you do when you say give up. Right. They said, I give up. You got me, Lord. You got me. Get him up. Bro. Amen. Did you know what? Took me from a job making thirty-nine dollars. Amen. To one hundred eighty dollars. Well, the first check I made was like one hundred eighty-six dollars. My God, I didn't know they paid people such money. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they paid people such money. <laughs> And God settled me then and say I, I could put in a little better tie, see. And he used to sing a song, if you give unto the Lord, he will give you more to give. More, more to, to give. give. More to give. I found that to be true. That doesn't make good sense. And man's mathematics, that don't even make good sense. Take money you don't even really have and give it, and you give you more. That don't sound I mean I I gotta admit that's a, that's Kind of silly in man's eyes. But in God's economics, amen, it works. Amen. And not all that, but you give one way, He gives it back seven that ways. Was dry. What he said. <laughs> he gives it back health, strength, peace, joy, love. He gives it back so many ways. Mm -hmm. See, amen. A lot of times we don't know what we're doing when we're doing right. these little things. Right. We, we just kind of we just do it almost, you know, as a, as a repetition. But we don't understand that God is in that thing. He's got order. He's got a way that He does things. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that's why I cried out to Him. And, and right in the midst of my trial, when I was in great trial, and the Lord spoke to me and said, My son, what would you have me give to you? Now think about this. Oh, Lord. And that was the last, last thought I had in my mind getting anything from God. I didn't even feel worthy to have my prayers answered. You ever been that low? I mean, I was so low. I could sit on a cigarette paper and swing my legs. I mean, I was low as you could get. <laughs> and in that time, of course, God would say those kind of things. What would you have to give you? And I was crying and blubbering like a baby. I never will forget it. It was a February, rainy and cold. I was on this um, uh, bin with a storm base night, and I was sitting on my lift truck, and I was just I was bawling like a baby. And I finally said, Mercy, Lord. Give me mercy. Amen. I've got to have mercy. I can't go back. I've been back there. I can't seem to go on. Now what am I going to do? I've got to have mercy, Lord. And He spoke these words to me. May not mean a whole lot to you. You've heard it many, many times. Amen. But it changed my life. He said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I quit judging people. I quit pointing my finger at other people. I quit picking on other people. Amen. I started looking in the mirror. Uh -huh. And this is our mirror right here. Uh -huh. And I began to see Brother Pat, and I saw he wasn't really in all that good shape. Amen. And I began to say, I've got to, I better take care of me before I worry about everybody else. Uh -huh. And I began to judge myself. And the Bible said if we had judged ourselves, we'll need not to be judged. That's right. Amen. So I began to judge myself. And I began to see myself, not as I thought I, I was, so cute and so smart, and, you know. I began to see what I really was. I began to see myself, that I was in need. Yeah. I was in need of God, and I didn't see clearly, and I didn't understand. Amen. Amen. I quit hanging around with people, talk about people all the time. You know, they used to gather in the restaurants after church and sit around oh. and talk about each other. Yep. I quit Amen. going with that crowd. I quit doing that. They still do it. Now, they, well, they still do it, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I don't do it. You'll never see me doing it. No. If I'm down, I'm give me a hamburger and go home. I don't I don't sit around and talk about people. No, sir. I and I, I, fought against, I fight against that spirit because you know why? We're all just flesh. We're all just human beings trying to do the best we can. Now, we are the sons of God. Don't you ever doubt that. But it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. So, amen. Even when you're looking in the mirror, you really ain't seeing what, what God sees. See, because He sees you through the blood. Amen. <laughs> he sees you through the blood. He sees you in a perfect state. He looks at you in a perfect state. Now, think about that. If I won't owe you down, when you don't good well, 
within yourself, you're not very perfect. But God sees you in a perfect state. He's got you covered with the blood. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, and by faith, you've got to accept that. You've got to believe that. And His mercy, I found it endures forever. Amen. It's forever and ever. Amen. His grace is sufficient, said to Jennifer. Remember I told you that one time? His grace is sufficient. She said, for what? I said, anything. Yes, amen. <laughs> and she found it to be true. But see, if you hadn't suffered, you wouldn't have found that out. That's right. If you hadn't failed, you wouldn't have found that out. If you hadn't struggled with your salvation, you wouldn't have found that out. Amen. So don't despise what you've been through, what all your failures and shortcomings, because it caused you to know what you know, what you know, what you know. When See? You know, you know, you know. Yeah, in your door. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, so anybody saved in the building tonight? Amen. 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 Let him say so. Y'all tell your neighbor about it. Been redeemed. Y'all tell them tell in the food store. Tell them at the restaurant. Amen. Tell them wherever you go, the goodness of God. Amen. Go and tell, he said, what good thing oh, yeah. the Lord has done Amen. for you. Amen. Don't hold it back. Let people know. Yes. So, oh, listen, you don't, you, don't, you don't know what I was like. Amen. I remember Brother Ronnie said those words to me years ago. Brother Pat, you don't know me when I was in sin. You wouldn't like me. When I was in sin, you wouldn't like me. <laughs> I wasn't very likable. I had a lot of problems. I had a lot of shortcomings. I'm not. I'm not the man I once was. Thank God. Hallelujah. Now, thank God for that, right? Yeah. Amen. At least you didn't take out watermelon. <laughs> and he get it, them. Uh, well, I, I, I took a few. I just didn't take them that night. I, <laughs> I, had, I, 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 I took a few. <laughs> but uh, that's all under the blood. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Oh, and gathered them out of the lands from the east. The lands. He brought some of us out of some lands. Yes. No doubt some of you might have come out of some lands I, I've never seen. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yes. right. But I might have been in some land that you hadn't seen. But let's face it, sin is sin. That's right. And God hates sin. Yes. Sin is not acceptable in the in the eyes of God, right? No. So we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, the Bible said. There's not one perfect, not one. None righteous, he said, not one. Amen, for we've all sinned. But that, though, for those of us that His blood has been applied, Amen, He amen. took care of that sin. Forgive us. He blotted that Thank sin you. out. See? Yeah. They're all blotted out by the blood of the Savior. All blotted out by the blood of the Lamb. My sins were like a mountain. I took them to the fountain. Now they're all blotted out. Praise God. Some people say, what's all the excitement about? Well, if you don't know, then you just don't know. <laughs> you know, if you don't know, you don't know. But I know. See, I know where I've been. I know what I've done. I know the path that I've taken. And I'm saved tonight. And I know I'm saved. Amen. I know in my heart I'm saved. Not because of me. <laughs> Not because of me, no. But because of Him. Amen. Because He That's lives. Right. I can face tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, because He lives. All fear is gone. Bless the Lord. Isn't that a good song? I love that song. It's a great song. And He gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north, from the south. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter what kind of family you come out of, what, what kind of a culture you came out of. God's able to take care of all of it. Yes, He is. No respect or person. Amen to God. I'm glad about that. Amen. So they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. You ever feel so lonely? Yes. I'm talking about in a crowd. It feels so alone, so lonely. You've never been lonely. He just thought you was. There was somebody else there all the time. Amen. He saw your, your tears. Amen. He saw your sorrow. He saw the hurting in your heart. He, he felt the loneliness that you felt. He suffered that with you. Oh, what a Savior, huh? Oh, yeah, He had pity on us. Amen. He didn't judge us according to our sins. But because He loved us and put His love upon us. <laughs> Those that were unlovable, He loved us anyhow. Those that knew very well we was absolutely and, and guilty before God. He said, not guilty. Hallelujah. Not guilty. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad about that? 
I'm glad I'm not guilty. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Oh, if I could tell you, was, uh, when I was in search of the Lord, the hunger that was in my heart, in my life. Amen. And you know, uh, later years when I failed the Lord and I played music and I traveled over the United States playing music. And this is the truth. God knows I'm telling you the truth. And there was a lot of big stars on some of the shows I was on. And I was always intrigued to get to meet some of those people. Sometimes I did. And then they would all go have a big party, you know. And I'd head back to the hotel. I didn't have any part in that. That wasn't my life. No, there was still, still a longing within me for the things of God. Praise God. And I, 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 I decided... Uh, I decide, I'm not going down the tube. Just because I failed God, I'm not going to go down the tube. Right. And I was, I was on buses, I was uh, scotch all around, and all that. Never touched a drum. All the time I ever played music. Uh, I ain't going, I'm not going to go down that road. No, I'm going to maintain myself as much as I can. And I'm going to tell you, God gave me an education. I got an education in God. I found out God is in whatever He wants to be in, wherever He wants to be. I've sat in nightclubs and talked to people. I'm talking about up in Nashville, New Hampshire, in New York City. Sitting in nightclubs and talk to people about God. Sit and talk and feel the power of God between us. Right. Sitting at the table. Yeah, Why the way I was brought up, that couldn't be. But oh, there it was. Oh God, he, uh, He's out on the bar still too. He's out there. Oh, yeah, just anybody just take a, a bit of technology and he'll be right there too. Yeah. I remember one time I was singing over at the Holiday Inn at Greencastle. And there was an old fellow came in there and he was uh, had been a, 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 a ship's captain in the, in the Navy. He retired as a naval officer. Uh, you know, he was real high up. I don't know he was an admiral. He was real high up. Come and ask me. He said, I want to ask you to do something for me. You probably won't do it. But I wonder if you do something for me. I said, what's that? I'd like to hear the great speckled bird. Now everybody was out here dancing and having a great time. And he wanted to hear the great speckled bird. And I said, well, it is a pretty song. He said, would you sing that for me? It's me and my wife's anniversary. I said, I will sing for you the great speckled bird. Now you talk about throwing a blanket on a party. I sung the great speckled bird and you could feel the presence of God in that place. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God is everywhere, folks. Yes. His Spirit fills heaven and earth. Right. You can't get away from Him. You can't, you can't hide from Him. You're wasting your time to even try. He said you can go down to hell and He's there. You can go to the highest heaven and He's there. He's everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad about that. Because all the time I was out in some of those places, He, he whispered in my ear, They'd all get ready to go party, and you'd say, you go on back to the yeah. hotel now. Yeah. Or go back and sit on the bus. i go back sometimes sit on the bus. Person and Bobby come wandering in. <laughs> and we'd sit there and sing gospel song while they're all out partying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard some of the oldest tales about Bobby Helms being such a drunk. <laughs> There's a guy told me something that. He said, he's, a, he's the biggest drunk around. And in his early years, he had a, a, a drinking problem. He drank peach brandy. And he got off of that a long time ago. But I played music with him for three years and he never touched a drop. And I was with him every hour of every place where he was playing. And this guy said, oh, he, I saw him here while back. He's falling down drunk. I said, that's a lie. That's, right. that's not true. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I said, I'm telling you your face right now. It's a lie. It's not true. Amen. See, people could say all kinds of things about it. And they was telling around that I was drinking. I'm drinking in the bars. It's going all over the place. <laughs> never drank no, in a bar cup of coffee. First thing gentlemen, we'd get there, I'd say, you got a coffee pot? And I'd say, yeah, but we'd like to have some coffee while we were playing. And when we were take a break, we'd go get some coffee. And I'm, but but i tell you one thing. I learned some things about God. And I found out He's whatever He wants to be to whoever wants Him to be. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he, you know, He don't do everything just the way people think He ought to do. He does what He wants to do. He said, I will bless whom I will bless, and I will curse whom I will curse. And I'm telling you, He will. And, and, and God can change your life. And I'm so thankful that He can change your life. It said, uh, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, 
and he delivered them yes. out of their distresses. Yes. We got a lot of people in distress. Brother Stanley come by last night. And we sat out here on a bench by the house. And uh, we talked about the goodness of God. And I said, Stan, I know you've been through a lot. I just, it just killed me. See, hey, so listen, God's taking care of me. Don't you worry about that. Amen. God's it's taking care of me. I said, how's Brenda doing? Well, you know Brenda. She's always looking up. She's yeah. all right. She's hobbling around on her new legs. She's, yeah. she's doing there fine. Amen. Now, I, here's some people that's really got some problems. I mean, if you yeah. didn't lay them out. But they ain't got no problem. Because they got Jesus. See? Yeah. He's always took care. He always has. Yes. And he always will. I mean, and they lost everything. I mean, they some of the stuff they couldn't replace. It's all gone. And I know there's others that's been touched in the same way. But uh, but God has a way of of, uh, of healing the hurt. Yes, He does. Taking well, care of things. Yes, He does. And that's what I want us to do is to look up to Him tonight. Yeah. Hey, man, He He's the one to look to. And guess what? Happy days will come back down the road again. Yes. Oh, and you'll be you'll be rejoicing and shouting, and say, "Oh, ain't God good?" And, It'll come again, and we'll go back up the hill, and then the next thing you know, we'll have to go back down the hill. And Ride the wagon down. songs it up this hill again. Down, down this hill again, up this hill, down, up this hill again. It's a mighty, mighty long road, seem to have no end, and that's the way it is. It's up this hill and down, up this hill again. You go up on the one way to go, and it's down. And when you get down on the one way to go, and it's up. And if we can learn to maintain whether we're going up or coming down, yeah. going up or coming down, if we can learn to maintain and just trust Jesus and just believe Him, and guess what? We look up, we'll be going back up the hill again. It's all good going up the hill. Coming down ain't so great. And being down there, well, that's not very good either. And it'll put us out. It puts us out. Oh, yes. It'll put you out. It'll take you to, from your little comfortable world where everything's just, everything's right in its slot and everything's okay. Now all of a sudden everything's all out of whack. Yeah. All your routine's gone. You can't, you know, it's nice to have a routine and, you know, now the routine's all messed up. But uh, happy days will be back again. Yes, amen. Just hold on to the Lord, right? Amen. 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 And He delivered them and He led them forth by the right way. See, there's a right way. There is a right way. The way of the Lord is right. Bless you, brother Louis. Love you, man. Amen. Amen. Hang in there. Yes. Bless the Lord. There is a right way. Amen. And then there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the ends there are the ways of death. See, there are some ways that are just not right. And we are gonna we're gonna force God to do things our way. It won't work. No, God's got a way. This is the way he said, walk in. Walk in. He's got a way of making you wish you had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, he, and he's patient. He's got all the time in the world. And he owns a cattle on a thousand hills and the hills and the taters in the hills. And everything belongs to him. And you can't have, get him too much because he owns it all. What are you going to do with a God like that? And you just have to love him. Trust him. Trust him most of all, right? Amen. Oh, that man. He said, now... Uh, so he led them that they might go to a city of habitation. That means a place where you can live. Dwell. Yeah. So what he's trying to get you to a place where you can live. Yes. Amen. Even when it's good and when it's bad, you can still live. When it's up and down, you can still live. When things are going right and not so right, you can still live. It's a place of habitation. That's what is. That's that's what the kingdom of God is all about. Yes, it is. See. The Lord came to bring the kingdom of God to men. Behold, the kingdom of God is with men. Not only with men, it's within men. It's within men. And in that kingdom is peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Paul said it's not meat and drink. Sometimes that our level is just thinking about oh, what am I going to do? Oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to get by? How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to buy food? He said, think about the birds. They just fly around. And they get hungry, they just go find them a worm. But God puts a worm out there for them and they go find it. They don't spin, they don't toil, they don't worry about it. They just get up and say, well, it's another day. Well, we'll see what we can do. Let's fly over to Brother Patch. He's got some seeds hanging over there on the porch. <laughs> they got to where they'll come right up to me now. And I just sit and look at them. I talk to them. And they'll... Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. I never heard a bird like that, Mark. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Well, you just ain't talking to the right bird now. <laughs> I guess so. 
Oh yeah, there's something. Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. Yeah. I'm sure they're there. Though. Yeah, they're there. You can bet on it. Amen. Don't worry me. So he led them by the right way that they might have a city of habitation, a place where they can live. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. For He satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Yes. God wants to give you something that's so good and you won't be sorry about it later. No. And you won't have guilty pains about it or say, why did I do that? He wants to give you something that will satisfy you. They say, oh God, I thank you for your goodness. Why would I praise you? Amen. Just, 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 just to know you. Just to talk to you. Just to feel your spirit. To feel your presence. To look around and see you everywhere. And recognize and know that you are God and your word is true. Oh, these are true words I'm giving you. And that's what the Holy Ghost wants to minister to your heart tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we used to sing a song years ago. Oh, what a Savior. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. What a Savior. What a Savior. Amen. He came to die for you and me. Oh, what a Savior. Thank God. He's, he's wonderful. I feel Him in my heart. I'm, I'm, you know, I've just I worked my brains out this week and really did things I didn't even sure I could still do. I had to be done. Somebody had to do it, so I guess I did. Got and uh, <laughs> I've had to go lay down a few times, but that's all right. Uh, but uh, see, God, God takes care. I love Him and I love you. I, I, I think I'm thankful for you that are hungry enough to even in in, in trouble all around and turmoil and upset and but you still want to go to church. Oh, yeah. I gotta go and hear something. Yes, I gotta go I gotta go and get some and get me some good some good to eat. Something right. I can stick to my ribs, you know. Give me yeah, something yeah. stick to my soul ribs. Food. Good old soul food. Oh yes. Right for soul food. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I love it. Sister Mary was sitting back there crying. I want to go back there and put my arms around her. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her heart. Amen. That's not the thing. Let it shine, let it shine